Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to create a data column in a table of type line string and populate it with some values just so you can visualize it on the map and start retrieving it from the database. Line strings, they represent a path or route or essentially a collection of points that have some sort of logical grouping. Let me demonstrate how you would first of all create such a column. For this, uh, I'm going to create a new table. I'm going to call it travel. And this table will contain just some interesting routes. So first of all, there's going to be a column uh, called name, which will contain just the name of that uh, travel route. And I also will create a column that is going to be called route. And notice that for the type, I will select line string. So now the schema is defined and let's switch to the data browser. Uh, we can see the name and the route column in here. Uh, for the actual route, for the demo purposes, I will switch to our documentation, then go to data service API, spa spatial data in the database. And in spatial data types, there is actually an example of a line string that represents uh, route 66. So I will copy this value. We're going to use it in just a second. And let's create a new column, uh, call it root 66. And the value will just paste it, uh, the value that we got from the documentation. To visualize this, we can simply click this checkbox. And as you can see, Backendless automatically visualizes the value that is in this line string. The beauty of line string, or the effectively the, the, the benefit of it, is that it creates a single logical unit that comprises multiple uh, points and each point has its own pair of coordinates. So in here with a single value we basically have this root 66 which can be obtained using the API with just a single call. So for instance if we switch to REST console and then fetch the data from that uh, table you see that there is a, a root uh, property which contains this uh, GeoJSON that contains all the points that make up that particular line string. And it is returned just as a single property that contains multiple values. Uh, that's pretty much it uh, as far as the demo of line strings and how to create those columns in the database and work with them. Uh, I'd like to remind you that all our SDKs, they include built-in functionality to uh, make it easier for you to work with line strings and points and polygons. So in this case, let's say if you use Android, iOS or JavaScript and make an API call to retrieve the data for the root property here, you will get a single object that is a line string that contains all of that data. So it, uh, Backendless SDK makes it super simple for you to where you don't need to parse all the uh, GeoJSON and you essentially just start working with a single object. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.